Hi guys, welcome to the vlog. The counter is wet. Let me dry her down. Oh my God, the pineapple smells so good. Hold on, the dogs wanna go outside. It is a beautiful, gloomy day in Los Angeles. You guys know gloom and rain are my favorite kinds of weather. When your house is not patched after flooding from rain, when rain comes, you do get a little bit nervous, but luckily the rain is so minimal. It's like light, light, light sprinkling, so I think we'll be okay, but okay. They just wanted to go and stand outside. All right, guys, welcome to the vlog. Before we get started, I wanna say thank you so much to Brooklinen for sponsoring this video. We will get more into them later, but I am a huge, huge fan of Brooklinen. I literally have been sleeping on their sheets for the past year or so and I will never go back to a different sheet company swear on my life when I got the opportunity to work with them I screamed because as I said I'm a fan I love them so much but yes today is Saturday and I had one thing to do this morning I had a quick little meeting about some house stuff that I had to take care of kind of dealing with that whole flood stuff that I just mentioned and then other than that pretty much this entire weekend I have no plans tomorrow I'm getting brunch with Alicia Ollie and Murph but other than that Literally no plans, so it's a super open, easy weekend. Also, normally I feel like I am devoting my time to like cleaning the house a bunch because I want things to be organized, and I feel like if you guys have a house, you understand too. Things are never clean. There's always something to be cleaned, but right now, the house is spotless. We had some guests over last night. We did a little game night with Asian Girl Squad, and Cal and I cleaned before we went to bed, so everything is clear this morning. It's kind of crazy. The dishes are like done. Everything was put away, and I am feeling tired this morning, so I'm gonna make myself a latte, because otherwise I will watch Heart of Dixie, and I will fall asleep. Hopefully, this will keep me from taking a mid-afternoon nap, but I love a chill weekend where I have literally nothing to do. You know what, for this gloomy day, which I will say we're still in a heat wave, it is gloomy out, but it's still really hot. So that mixed with the rain, it's like really humid out. It's 80 degrees right now, not too hot, honestly. That's actually pretty cool for what's been happening lately. But I'm gonna make myself a nice hot latte. Look at this. Look at her just staring at me. I like it to be super hot with very little foam. Beautiful. Hello, sorry, someone came to the door. I'm making myself my coffee. I've got my big mug in the bottom of my mug. I added a couple drops of my English toffee stevia. And then I just frothed together vanilla bean almond milk and nut pods cookie butter. And then together I just frothed my vanilla bean almond milk, that is hot, and my cookie butter nut pods. It smells delicious. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna take my espresso that I pulled, pour it into my mug. Ooh, let's get a good little pour shot. All right, pour her in. I'm not a big froth girl, so I don't get too much froth. Oh, that looks amazing. And to make it extra fall, I'm gonna put some cinnamon on top. Oh, that looks so good. All right, taste test. Oh, wow. I'm not kidding, guys. It tastes like Starbucks. It truly does. If I got this at Starbucks, I would love it. All right, I'm gonna take my coffee upstairs. I did some laundry yesterday, so let's go put that away and finish up a couple random little chores around the house, which you know, I love doing chores, so. Oh my God, please make this at home. Trust me. Also, of course, we need to set the fall vibes in the kitchen. Gotta light my leaves candle. I've already burned through about a third of this in like, two days, so I'm gonna have to go to Bath and Body Works again soon. Remember to always trim your wicks. It gives you a nice cleaner burn and it helps it so that your candle burns nice and flat. I did that horribly with one hand, but I did do it. I cannot tell you guys how unbelievably excited I am for cold weather. All right, we got the leaves burning. We've got the latte in hand. We've got Honeycrisp apple burning over there. Momo snuggled on a Barefoot Dreams blanket. It is a beautiful Saturday. Welcome to our bedroom, everyone. I purposely did not make the bed today, which you guys know, it's the first thing I do when I wake up in the morning and Cal and I have a rule. Whoever wakes up last has to make the bed and it's usually me. Because today we're gonna change the sheets. I also did laundry yesterday and whenever I do my laundry, I fold it and leave it over in this corner. So we must put this away before we can get to anything else in the room. Hi Daisy. I feel like I haven't done a uh... Oh, okay, I guess I'll just sit here. Haven't done like a random chores in the house, like weekly chores vlog in a very long time. So this is what I do. Uh, I do feel like this adds like five unnecessary steps to my routine, but I don't know, I just, I do it. So I fold the laundry, put it over there, and then I take this rolly hamper that I've had since I think my first apartment like eight years ago, and I roll it over here, and I put my clothes into the basket to take to my closet. Momo has followed us upstairs, and I just throw them in 
here. I like to separate. These are pajamas. And now we wheel it to the glam room, which is honestly pretty clean right now. Love to see it. I'm trying to do laundry also in smaller batches. I usually wait way too long and then it takes forever to do all the loads and fold everything. I'm trying to do it in smaller batches so I do it more frequently now, but I'm working on it. Hello all, okay, laundry's all put away. I feel so productive. That took like 10 minutes to put away as opposed to like, normally it takes me like 30 because there's so much stuff to put away because I wait so long with the laundry. So if you're like me, I recommend doing it more frequently in smaller batches. So as I said, today's video is sponsored by Brooklinen and we have a new box here. As you guys can see behind me, you guys see I'm always making the bed. This sheet right here is from Brooklinen. I bought this because I saw so many of my other friends and influencers talking about it. And I was like, you know what? I need a new sheets. I actually had sheets before that I really liked at my old apartment when we first moved here. I didn't even know about Brooklyn and yet, so I went to go buy the same sheets that I was always using and they were sold out. So I was like, okay, where should I look? I found out about Brooklyn and from all other influencers and so I tried them out and I love. So today we have this box and we've been really needing a new duvet cover because we only have one. And so when we wash it, we'll wash it and we'll have to start it early in the morning so that it can dry and be done by nighttime to be put back on. But it really is so smart to have a rotation of sheets and duvet covers and things, pillowcases, so you can wash them at your leisure and you can just switch them out immediately, you know? It's always good to have a second set. So I'm very excited that I now have a second set. Today here in this box, ah, here it is. We have here an adorable tote bag, which we love a tote bag as we all know. And then today we have, these are literally identical to the ones that I have behind. This is the core sheet set. It comes with one flat sheet, one fitted sheet and two pillowcases. We also have more pillowcases and we have the duvet cover, which these are all in the luxe line. There's also a classic line, but I am so excited to have these. When I tell you guys, these are so incredibly soft, truly, oh my God. Like I look forward to coming home to this bed whenever I am traveling, if I'm out, I don't know, just like literally on a normal day, I'm like, wow, I can't wait to get into my bed and into my soft sheets. Like truly they are fantastic. And as we all know, high quality bed sheets can get insanely expensive. I remember when I first moved out on my own, I was actually like, that was the thing I was most shocked by. I was like, sheets are how much money? Obviously like there's the thread count and all that kind of stuff. But what I love about Brooklinen is that they are high quality at a really affordable price. Truly guys, you see like that soft sheen on them. Like they are so, so nice. And as you sleep in them, the more you sleep in them, they get softer and softer and they're already like so plush. So obviously they're brand new, but I'm going to wash these, make sure they're nice and ready to put onto the bed. I need to wash these as well. So big laundry day at the house and then we'll make the bed when they're all done. Okay, so as you guys saw, we got a lot of pieces today. This is the Lux Hardcore Sheet Bundle. Of course, you can go to the site and buy everything individually, but if you buy it as a bundle, you actually save 25%. So it's a way better deal if you're looking to completely have a new set of everything. And I love that they have so many options. There's over 20 plus colors and patterns to choose from. I personally like going with like a darker shade because of like my self tanner or with the dogs, it can get kind of dirty. So I love having something dark, but they have so many options. All right, if you guys are interested in trying your own Brooklyn and Sheets and you guys can actually get $20 off your order of $100 or more, click the link below and you guys can use code REMLIFE. All right, I'm going to throw everything in the washer and then I'm gonna go watch Heart of Dixie while I finish my coffee. Hi guys, it's the next day. I'm gonna be honest. Didn't finish making the bed last night. Also, LOL at the body shapes on the uh, memory foam mattress. But yesterday I spent my entire day on the couch watching TV, watched Heart of Dixie, watched a couple movies with Cal, and then we fell asleep on the couch. So the bed never got made. Hi Daisy. It is the next day. I got up, I showered, I'm just wearing some comfy be closed. Again, no plans today. Oh, I was gonna go to brunch today, but that got canceled. So I'm home and don't have anything to do. Made myself a matcha latte. She's delicious. And we're gonna make the bed together. Woo! It is time. Let's assemble. And just like that, we are done. As you can see, Daisy was waiting to jump up the entire time. It is so soft and amazing. It looks so great with the room. Check them out. See you soon. Daisy loves. Do you wanna go back on the bed too? There you guys go. They're comfy. We're at dinner. We got a yellowtail collar. Okay, so you go in there with your, oh, we can squeeze the lemon. Then, take your chopsticks. You can like break it up and you just dip a little bit in the palm zoo. Mmm, you're gonna love it. Spicier salmon belly. Mm. This is the, I might be right here. The fried head. Regular salmon. 
gotta order out before and then this your tour. Thank you. Bye. We came to Target. Alicia's gonna mock what I used to do, and now just, I'm a I'm a mature woman. I was just gonna say, I think I know that you've grown. Thank you. Because a few years ago, you'd have been like, oh my god, oh, I need this. Oh, should I get both? Oh. Well, I think I should just get all of them, right? You know what's great is that all went through my mind as we were walking, Are but I kidding? said, no. I literally was like, hmm, interesting. But I would go for, I think, this one now. I think I ear infection. Oh. Oh, no. What's wrong? Everyone's been hitting up my candy drawer, so I gotta get, yep, this one. <laughs> literally today, I had so many of the... Things. This one too. Cheese. Yep. <laughs> we gotta get some refills. Oh, what are these? Witch's brew, marshmallow cream, white cream. Wait, can I pick something up? Yeah, you can put, put whatever you want. Mom, Mom, just one thing, please. I promise I'll be good. Melted. They're pumpkins. They're shaped like pumpkins. They're melted. Oh, wow, they are. Oh, I do love a Reese's. I'm gonna get a Reese's. Oh my God, they are all melted. We've got an issue on aisle seven. They're all melty. Okay, maybe these? Oh my God, they're all melted. Target, what's going on? Wait, all right, everybody gets to pick a candy that goes in the candy drawer. Wait, this is the best day of my life. <laughs> like, Imagine so I many picked options. your Green colored cream. That's fun. Oh <laughs> my God. Stop. They never have baby Heaths. Oh, I gotta get two. I love Heath. That's one of my favorites. They I just realized why there's so much candy for trick-or-treaters, but I'm lucking out right now. <gasps> I love a 100 grand too. I haven't had oh these God, in years. <gasps> love I like old people do yeah. and me. <laughs> Wait, I'm having so much fun. <laughs> I'm living. Oh. Look at these cute little waffle makers. Oh, stop the little cobweb. Wait, that's adorable. Dog tree maker. No. Stop. <laughs> Bone appetit. Oh my. Is that what it says or did I just make that up like a genius tagline? Oh no, there it is. <laughs> Miss Libra Rising, Libra Moon, can't choose. She's looking at everything. Oh my god, cat. Oh my god, I need to text Lauren. She's made her decision. I've made my decision, and I feel the need to explain my decision. Okay. Not only is this the best choice just because it's the best choice, because of the timing of the year, but also they're shareable, they're nostalgic. Very. And this is a big lead up. <laughs> I was gonna guess. <laughs> <laughs> These beautiful choice, everybody. Also, Lauren and I love Cadbury eggs and they brought them back this year for fall. Look at the little bunny in a scarf. I'm gonna get these as well. I did indeed just text Lauren. We're excited. Living for all the cozy blankets and fall things. Oh my God, so cute. I love all the textures. I'm getting some iced cold brew. Oh wait, there's so many options. Bold and smooth. Extra bold, bold and smooth. Too many options. Pumpkin, I'm not a pumpkin girl actually. I just wanna try for fun though. What is this? Pumpkin, I'm a peppermint girl through and through. Yeah, give me the peppermint mocha. We got some Clorox wipes, I got paper towels, Alicia got Clorox and toilet paper. And I got this apple cider scent. I've been needing like a new multi-surface cleaner and Murph said this special apple cider fall one is good and I love that apple cider, so. We are home and organized the candy drawer. Now we have candy. Truly, over this past weekend, everyone's been really going in. It was like half full before I filled this back up. We added in the caramel apple lollipops. We've got Rolos, Reese's peanut butter cups, 100 grand. Alicia and I just had one of these. They are so good, you guys, so underrated. Heath, I'm gonna have the Heath after this. And then we've got little, what are these, Hershey's, little Easter eggs that are the cookies and cream ones. Baby Twix. Rice Krispie Treats. These are my favorite, what are these called? Dub Dark Chocolates. It's the Midnight Fudge Cookie. They're so yummy. They're like a minty fudge cookie. Then we've got crispy M&Ms here, Kit Kats, a few Crunch Bars, a few little Ferrero Rochers, some lint chocolates, M&Ms, Raisinets, Twix, popcorn seasoning. The perfect movie drawer. Hi guys, good morning. It is the next morning. I'm coming on to end the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you again to Brooklyn for sponsoring and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.